Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Buck. Rack! If you don't want to get up on me, I don't care. Ain't no pride in my game. Just like Brutus said, be saying Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town, coming to you live with other game, man. Look, check it out, man. This right here was Splash Brothers reunited. Reunited. And it feels so good in this motherfucker. I was out here playing with my dog, Nunu Nunu. -Nu. Uh, we play with him a lot. And uh, well, if you ever see any of the videos that I put up, most of the most of the time, the core three is uh, myself, Brutal Sim, and Nunu. -Nu. And um, in the beginning of the year, Nunu was playing uh, the big man. He was playing a center because I guess people were running a lot of centers at the park. Oh, check it out right here. I should have taken the shot. Why didn't you take the shot? I don't know. And then it cost us a damn turnover, but at least it's on him. Yes. It's not on me. Uh, in the beginning, like in the very, very, very beginning of the year, there was almost no way you could come out here uh, to the park. Well, the very, I guess the first couple of days, you couldn't come out here to the park without a uh, without a big man because people were just spamming it inside. Nobody knew how to play the game. Uh, nobody really knew that you were pretty much locked in the roles. And uh, nobody really knew. And damn, I let him get a bucket inside. Damn. But that's going to be the last one. I'm about to terrorize him from now on. But, um. Nobody really knew what to do, what you could do, you know, any of that. People hadn't settled in the archetypes. People didn't really just accept the fact that, hey, if you're a shooter, you got to shoot. If you're a dribbler, you got to dribble and go to the bucket and dunk. you pretty much balanced. And if you're a shot creator, you got to shoot off the dribble, stuff like that, you know. And uh, if you can't lift, trades up, splash down. And if you can't leave a sharpshooter open, no way, no how. It don't matter what it is, what happened, or who you are. But um, anyway, so that's how that was. Get that out of here. Uh, so that's how it was right there, man. So... After we kind of figured everything out, the way that we ran out, the way that we ran everything last year was I was the small forward uh, slash center. So being a small forward slash center, what I would do is, what I would do is uh, I would take on the centers. Most of the time I would get crushed. Right, good shit, Nunu. -nu. Most of the time I would just get completely crushed by centers out there. Right, uh, they're gonna score too, but we, our game plan was, you know, we gonna we 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 hoping that we can get three and we hope we'll be able to outrun them and outscore them and. Um, it would translate into an advantage on the other end because I'm going to be outside the paint. I'm going to pull the center out because he can't. Like, if he doubles off, if the center doubles off and he's one of those guys that just wants to stay in the paint, I'm going to splash threes all day. If he's one of the guys that wants to, um, if he wants to come out there on me, then that leaves Brutus Sim on the island. Oh, hit Nunu in the corner. Hit that Nunu in the corner to get from Ronya because he a dangerous. Trey's up. Splash down, and then my, I guess my man quit. He, he just couldn't take it no more. I guess he was just like, I can't take this shit no more. Reggie about to take it to your mama, but it is what it is. I'm going to pass it right back to Nunu for three else. And it counts, but that's how we used to do it, man. So we would want to spread the floor, and I, and we would just have to deal with Like we had one of those teams that just wanted to uh, pound the ball down to the center. We just had to deal with it, man. And most of the time, this, this philosophy would work because – because uh, we were just uh, end up outscoring them. But uh, if the other team had good defense, you know, you're going to lose. I mean, but if you play good players, it's going to be rough. Anyway, pass it to me. Three ball, corner pocket, tray ball, cash. That's all, baby. Tray ball, that's all. But uh, if you're playing a good team, you're playing good competition, you know it's going to be rough on you anyway. It doesn't matter what players they got out there. They can have three guards out there. If you're playing real good competition, they're going to make it look good. Conversely, if you're playing garbage players, they're going to make it, you know, they're going to look bad. It's just how the game is. So uh, so what we would do is just say, hey, you, you know we had to pick our poison anyway. And uh, we figured, hey, we can shoot well enough to be able to get two, uh, three, then two. So, hey, you know, we used to play like this. So this is why I stayed. This is like Splash Brothers Returns because it's like uh, this was the first game that we played together where we went with the, uh, the spread. We call of the spread formation where we gonna spread the flow and look at that lockdown the defense even though they got one ai player i guess i don't know i guess he must have quit after he realized that it wasn't that sweet over here ain't that sweet over here baby but uh you know it is what it is so um i mean that, that's, that's just how it went look at P brutal sim pulling up no good i go in there and get the rebound on the pc oh pull four what that that's two who pull up drink but uh, that's just how we used to do it man and it's all good oh look at him doing the mate like the matrix uh, and it worked out pretty well, and that's one of the reasons that I decided this year to go ahead and max out my strength and max out my rebounding because I wanted to be able to play uh, the same way this year. I actually went in. I didn't pick sharpshooter by by mistake. I picked sharpshooter because sharpshooters had the highest rebounding out out of anyone that's not a glass cleaner or a defensive player, right? Oh, go to the go to the rim, go to the rim, Sam, Sam to the rim, right? But uh. 
the, the sharpshooter has the highest rebounder, and uh, everybody had the same defense, so it was an easy choice for me. I was like, hey, I'm just going to go and uh, get that shit out of here. I'm going to go get that shit out of here. What I was going to do, I was going to go and pick a sharpshooter since I could rebound because uh, that means that what I wanted to do, I wanted to be able to play big man without having to be locked into a big man role. And that's why I'm saying with these stretch bigs out here, these stretch bitches out here, it's going to be real hard for them because I have the same defensive stats that they have, but they don't have the same offensive stats that I got. Meaning that they can't, they, uh, most of those guys made them men 7-3. Look at Brutus Sim battling down low, yes, for the game. Most people made their guys 7-3, so they're just gonna be slow as hell. They may be a little bit stronger, well, they're not gonna be uh, even even stronger than I am unless they made themselves like 300 pounds, in which, in which case they're gonna end up being uh, just too damn slow. But anyway, man, like I said, Splash Brothers return. We back together. I was four for four, Nunu three for three. And uh, that's just how we did it, man. I was trying to explain the spread formation. And I, hey, tell me how you guys play. What configuration do you all play? Like, do you guys run uh, two guards and a big or two bigs and a guard or whatever? You know, could you play makers and a sharpshooter? Right now, we're running two sharpshooters and a playmaker. And I'm playing like the big man. But, um... We used to run one big man, a sharpshooter, and a playmaker. I think that works out well as well. But the only thing is, it kind of clogs the paint. And, uh, you know, the other team centers don't have to respect that big man. So we wanted something where, where they had to respect the big man, which is me. But get, t let me know how you guys play. What configuration do y'all play? Uh, and uh, just leave it down in the comments. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this month.